What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for some more Escape for Tarkov. So a few weeks ago, I was on my Kappa farm and looking for a defibrillator. Now the defibs are pretty difficult to get your hands on and this was before you could craft them in your hideout. So one of the most reliable ways to get them is Ultramed in Interchange. Very expensive key, it requires you to turn on the power and it's highly contested because it's farmed for lead X's. So while I was farming for defibs, I decided to experiment a little bit with some shotguns. Going back to the Magnum Buckshot, I already made a video on Magnum Buckshot that you can check out on my YouTube channel. This is pretty much a follow up. One thing I will say, if you run Magnum Buckshot, definitely run it in a Saiga. The patterns and the spread of the Buckshot and other shotguns seems to be incredibly inconsistent or bugged at times from what I've seen. So Magnum Buckshot, you're going in that route. Use a Saga, you won't regret it. So that being said, let's jump into some of this action on Interchange and various other maps, running some Magnum Buckshot in some really strange Saga configurations. Son of a bitch. actually killed a guy don't know how <laughs> the recoil is so nuts why y'all seem surprised because I can't even see what the fuck I'm shooting at that's why All right. Well, I should probably take his mags. No, oh, this guy's scooped up all this loot. Not the guy I killed, but somebody else scooped up all the loot. Alright, yo, we're gonna have to, uh... That gun is dominating, bro. Dude, we gotta make it better. I think we ditched the suppressor. Well, the suppressor's great because it, like, you know... Maybe the Savo 12 might be better stats. But it's a, it's a difficult gun to control because, like, I can't spray it. But I have a drum mag, so I want to spray it. But it's, it's ridiculous, man. The recoil is nuts. But it's pretty fucking fun. <laughs> it's all fun in games until it's not fun. It's all fun in games until we run into a dude with a face shield. Because that's pretty much what we're trying to do, right? The whole point of this is buckshot face meta. It's like trying to get that one piece of buckshot to land on some dude's fucking face. Or leg meta, but I mean, this thing... Trying to leg meta this thing with the recoil that it has? I don't even know. But we're going to have to make it better. We're going to do some experimentation. We're going to have to whip out the Night Force. We're going to build a gun you never thought was possible. <laughs> this is actually going to work. All right, what are we at now? 85. All right. Ah, we're at 85 recoil right now. All right, here we go. I'm a fucking genius, boys. Holy fuck. It actually works. <laughs> oh actually let me see if let me actually see how bad like how good it is what the difference is with the scope and without the scope okay so this is with the scope in a crouch 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Every single one of these pellets are doing 44 damage. All right, let's remove the scope. So that brings us up to 93 recoil. Hold on. It's, it's usable without the optic, for sure. There's a guy above me. He's still alive? They're that way! They're that way! Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. I was not expecting the Saiga King. <laughs> Never mind, we're going for that. Fuck it. Don't even understand how he died. I don't get it. <laughs> oh my god. I fucking love this thing. I still don't know how we killed the dude who was like, who had the Saiga and the full kit. It must have been arm meta, right? It had to have been arm meta. That's what I don't get. We killed him with arm meta. Jesus. Ammo used, 18. AP 20 slugs. The bomb, dude. Another one. Oh. Fuck. I mean, I was, I was hurt. I was hurt. GG. GG. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> Yo, that was pretty fucking good though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was only... <sighs> Shit. God damn it.
We could have just ran and hid for a while, I suppose. Yeah, we got killed by a Golnik, but fuck. Uh oh. Not again. Fuck. Jesus. Yo, it's not, not as good as the skeleton, my man. The skeleton was a little bit flatter, you know? It was easier to control. Nice. Nice. Went for the legs first on that one. Doesn't, there's still two guys that are fighting out over there to my right, though. Oh, he's got fuel. Yeah, he's got a lot of money's worth of equipment here. Oh, I actually need the Sacreal's tea, unless that's still not needed for the quest, but I bet you it is. Someone's in there. Fortunately, he's got a Mosin. No, he doesn't. He's got something way more powerful than a Mosin. It's fucking name. I think it's an S. I think it's a SR twenty-five. We'll see, though. Yeah.
Why not use AP20 slugs? Oh, just for fun, man. We're just experimenting. Switching it up. All right. Honestly, I'm probably better off using the SR25. This guy finished the job? Oh yeah, he definitely did. Railway Xfil. Yeah, we got we repacked the mags, yep. I wonder what it's like to be fighting me with this shotgun. Because obviously this guy's got an SR-25 and kill a body armor and shit. And I'm not killing him in the first volley, but I must be fucking him up so hard. Right? That it prevents the push. Dead body there. Fucking Mosins, bud. The Black Rock is better, but I don't want to stay here. Okay. A scary ADAR? Nah, this is SR25. Also, another positive for the Magnum Buckshot, right? The armor when I'm fighting people doesn't get destroyed, <laughs> which is interesting. Or like higher classes of armor. At the end of the day, when it comes to running Magnum Buckshot in a Saiga, it's actually not that bad of a call at all. I still think AP-20 slugs and flechette are like number one and number two and they are debatable in those positions depending on what map you're playing and where you are, but Magnum Buckshot is an obvious third because you're basically playing the RNG. Will you get one pellet to hit the enemy in the face? And the moment that that happens, they die. So it's actually a lot more reliable than you think. And then the leg meta itself isn't that bad. The only thing about it is you really need to work on recoil reduction. So building strange weapons like the skeleton or trying to maximize recoil reduction is probably the only way to be viable. So therefore sacrificing the suppressor when running Magnum Buckshot is pretty key. So you gotta run that monster comp. 
But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed another video with some Magnum Buckshot. I love running shotguns and trying to make them work in Tarkov. I always have and always will. And it is a challenge sometimes to get kills with them uh, and uh, to make them work. So if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing here for some more Escape for Tarkov videos or watching the live stream Monday through Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. A link to that will be included in the description box below.